Okay, we're in unit 119. It's a two bedroom, two level condominium. As you walk in, there is a closet by the front door. And a powder room by the entry. Very basic and very nice. As you enter the living space, you'll see that there are many windows to give you lots of natural light. And the kitchen area minus the microwave door, I apologize, that'll be in in one day and be repaired. Unfortunately, I don't have it for this video. There's a gas range, a dishwasher, double stainless sinks, and loads of covered space. You have an island where you can put stools for informal snacks, breakfast and dining, and a stainless steel refrigerator freezer. And this is the dining area right here next to the kitchen and the living area is out here. There is a, a closet underneath the stairway, which is very handy for your coats and storage. And the amazing thing about this particular unit is you have a large, large balcony that is private to you. We will now take a walk upstairs to the bedrooms. As you can see, there is an alarm system installed. All it needs is monitoring. It has motion detectors, fire, and smoke. And the level upstairs. And we'll go into the master bedroom suite first. The master bedroom is quite large. All the cabling is in for television and internet through Comcast. The master bath ensuite has one single sink and a very large soaker tub. This is not a jet as this is a condominium association and jets would be intrusive to those living around you, but it is a large beautiful tub. and shower. And as you can see, there is ample storage.
The master has a very large walk-in closet. We'll now go into the second bedroom, which is right here. This is the smaller of the two. It can be used as a child's room, nursery, or office. And there's a, another shot of the downstairs patio. And this also has a very nice size apple closet. I would call it a pseudo walk-in. It's not real big, but it's not your typical small closet. We'll now head on down to the three-quarter bath and laundry room. a three-quarter bath and it would be the second bathroom on this level. As you can see this also has a significant amount of storage space and it does have a shower. shower doors. You have your own washer and dryer. You control your own furnace. Oops, I apologize, the front is off. The furnace and air conditioning are all central, and you control it. Hot water is included in the association dues that are paid by the owner. You will be responsible for electric and gas, and we do have gas stove, gas oven gas heat. And we will go downstairs now. A storeroom does come with the unit. I'm not going to take you down, it's just simply a storeroom. And two parking spots in the underground garage. 